He's having a really, really bad hair day. Larry Boyd just found the coolest thing in the trash. It's an old bottle of Instatan. Rub on a dark suntan in minutes. That's what the label says. So Larry and his friends do. But nothing much happens. Until Larry notices the hair. Dark, spiky, sick hair growing on his hands and face. Really gross, shiny hair. Hair that keeps growing back even after he shaves it off. Welcome everyone to Goosebumps Overviews, the show where we talk about Goosebump books and judge them on their merit. Tonight's episode is book number 26, My Hairiest Adventure. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, I do not like this one, but we'll get into that. Here's the cover for my hairiest adventure. And <laughs> What the fuck is that? It looks like a goddamn masturbating monkey. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. This is this cover's hilarious. I don't know what it is. He just looks like one of the chimps from Planet of the Apes. Oh god. Oh shit, isn't that the same joke Roseanne Barr made? Shit. Oh no, I'm gonna get my YouTube removed. Really, really lame cover. Made me laugh. Not scary, but does summarize the book pretty well. Our book follows Larry Boyd and his group of friends that are in a band. Keyboard solo! Larry, while investigating some old house with his friends, finds an old bottle of Instatan lotion. I don't know why, but they're all like, Oh, we could get tans, and it's in the winter. People will think we went to Hawaii for the summer. We can say we played a concert in Hawaii. Yeah, that's, that's how they sound. That's how I imagine they would sound. So they decide to put all this Instatan on and then realize it's been expired for several years. But they're like, ah, you know, whatever. Who cares, right? But then Larry starts to notice he's growing hair in strange places. I mean hair, you know, like where you don't expect to see it. Are you growing some unexpected hair? No, are you? 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 And that's the book. Oh yeah, also his friends are disappearing one by one, but it's extremely obvious what's happening to them if you pay attention, or honestly, you don't really even have to pay attention to notice what's going on. I feel like they hit your head in a hammer with what is really happening. It is so fucking obvious. I mean, the reason why it's happening, maybe not, eh, but what is happening very clearly obvious. So the main conflict of this story, Larry's growing hair, he doesn't want to be called Harry Larry, so he hides it so he doesn't get embarrassed. Larry? Mm. Are you almost done in there? Almost. Mm. Well, could you just hand me out my razor? Can a guy get some privacy? Hmm. Bite my head off. That's pretty much it. It's, I don't know, it's kind of pathetic. Who gives a shit if people call you Harry Larry? You could just make a joke saying you're more mature than them. Larry, you're pathetic. This whole book is just... Oh God, it's retarded. It's retarded. How else do I express how stupid this is? When I was six years old, I realized what was going on halfway through. Halfway through. Oh god, either I'm a really smart child or this book was that stupid. Whoa! Cornworms, deadly. Fresh piece, 
Where's the bathroom? Oh. Are you okay, Larry? So let's talk about the climax and the ending. Like I said, kind of predictable ending. It just why? Why? It makes the book feel like it's running in a whole gigantic cycle. But I have, to, if I have to say one good thing about this book, the episode's even worse. We'll get into that one day. Who knows? Moral of the story is real good on this one. It's uh, don't be unlucky and be a dog. That's a good one. Overall, I'm gonna have to give this book a one out of ten. Not worth the read. Hate it. Please skip it. So guys, that has been my review on my hairiest adventure. Make sure to stay tuned for next time when we cover the Cuckoo Cock-a-Doo. Have a scary day.